What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to create a billboard mock-up in Adobe Photoshop. Now as you can see in Photoshop I have a picture of a blank billboard and it has some shadows in it and if I zoom in closely you can see that it has some wrinkles in it too. What we'll be doing in this video is applying a design to this billboard. Now for this to work your design, whatever you want to put on this billboard, it has to be on its own separate Photoshop document, which I have right here. Now, if you're wondering what this design is, it's basically a beverage brand that I came up with called Splash with two A's in it, and it specializes in creating beverages for school lunches. As you can see, one of them would be chocolate milk. I also have um, a design just like this for strawberry milk, white milk, fat-free skim milk, and you know, all that stuff. But today, we're gonna be using the chocolate milk design and we're gonna put that onto this billboard. So let's get started. So the first thing we gotta do is select the intended area. Where in our document do we want to apply our design? So what I'm gonna do is grab my selection tool here and obviously I wanna apply my design to this billboard here. So what I'm gonna do is use one of my selection tools. I can use the quick selection tool right here. And then I'm just going to select everywhere inside of this billboard here. And I'm going to zoom in to make sure it got all the parts that I want to apply my design to. And you can see right here that the quick selection tool picked up more than enough areas that I want to apply my design to. So what I can do is go to my polygonal lasso tool, which is right above our selection tools. Polygonal lasso tool. Then I'm going to make sure this button is on to subtract from my selection. And then I'm just gonna click here in this corner, go to where it starts, and just and just subtract from my selection like so. And now that one area is now not selected anymore. And now with my polygonal tool still selected, I'm now gonna go to this option right here that allows me to add to my selection. So I'm gonna click right here in this corner and then I'm gonna go all the way to the end right here, select that corner, and select that top part like so. And just repeat that same process for other parts of your document, which in my case, this looks good. Now that my intended area is selected, what I am gonna do is make a separate layer with that selection on it. And I can use the keyboard shortcut Command J to do just that. So Command J. And now you can see that we have a separate layer with our selection on it, which is exactly what we need. But now I'm gonna make a whole nother layer and turn that into a clipping mask layer. So what I'm gonna do is select the one layer that we just created, and I'm gonna add a layer on top of it by clicking this plus sign at the bottom, like so. And then we're gonna make that into a clipping mask layer. So you can right click on this new layer that we just created, then hit create clipping mask, and then this layer should become indented with an arrow that points to the layer underneath it. That tells Photoshop that you can color anywhere on this layer and it won't go outside of the boundaries of this layer. But in our case, we won't be using the paintbrush tool in this video, so I'm gonna hit Command Z to undo that. And now we can get to applying our design. So what I am gonna do is go to our other workspace, which is right here. And now we're gonna select and copy it. So I'm gonna hit Command A to select it all, Command C to copy it, and then we're gonna go back to our workspace over here. Now, instead of pasting our design to our document right away, you can see that this billboard looks as if it were drawn in perspective. And Photoshop has a special tool you can use to paste your design into your document, but still have it being in the same perspective of this billboard. So we're gonna click on our blank layer right here, our clipping mask layer. Then we're gonna to go to filter, and then I'm gonna to go to vanishing point. And then a separate window comes up. And with your cursor looking like this, we can select each corner of the billboard and Photoshop will determine the vanishing point of this billboard, which we don't need, because all we're doing is selecting the corners. So I'm gonna take this tool, click to select the one corner, Click to select another corner, then another corner, and then our last corner, which is down here. And then after you select all four of your corners, you can see that Photoshop generates a grid for you. Now when that grid generates, you're free to paste 
your design into here. So I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut command V to paste. And then our design will come up like so. And then on our tools over here, I'm gonna select my transform tool, which would look like this. And then I'm gonna simply drag our design onto the billboard like so. And just like any image in Photoshop, it has transform points. So you can resize and reposition it so that way it fits the same dimensions of the billboard in this case. So that's what I'm gonna do, like so. All right, and that's looking pretty good. So after you're satisfied with the position of your design, we can hit okay. And now our design is warped along with the billboard. So we don't have to do anything with the warp tool, nothing with the skew tool or anything like that. It's done for us. And if I toggle visibility on this design layer here, and if I zoom into this white billboard here, you can see that there's some sort of a cast shadow being made by the leaves that are in this photo. And then if I zoom in closer, you can see that this billboard has some sort of a texture by these wrinkles being made here. So what I'm trying to do is take my design and kind of blend it into the billboard so that way all these cast shadows and all this texture it can be seen along with my design thus giving it a more realistic look so i'm going to make this visible again and what i'm going to do is play around with photoshop's blending options so our blending options will be right here on this dropbox that says normal and we can play around with these settings to see which one would work for our realistic mock-up so I'm just gonna scroll through each one of these, see which one works. I think multiply usually works for mine, but I'm just gonna scroll through all of them just in case. Like, I kinda like linear burn, that kinda looks good. I like that one. But again, I'm just gonna scroll through all of them, see which one I like. Yeah, I kinda like multiply, that one looks good. And then, bam. And yeah, there is our realistic billboard mock-up. And if I zoom out, you can see that this looks like a realistic mock-up. And yeah, that is how you do it. That is how you create a realistic mock-up in Adobe Photoshop. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload and I'll see you in my next video